thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Jonathan, for that and for writing it. What a wonderful piece. And all of you who, uh, even though I guess you last read one of my books, which is <laughs> terrific, and which occasions this reading to be somewhat different from most readings I've uh, given for a long time. That is, I'm, I'm going to read some works that I think benefit by some by the audience having spent a little time with my work. And so those of you that haven't, you know, I, I think there's still something there. But um, and also because I, I learned that uh, the, the the book sales were going to feature this book, um, I, which was my first book. I planned to read from it, and I didn't know they were going to have uh, my two middle books here. And, Arc of Light, Dark Matter, and Near or Random Acts. So you, you may just have to take my word for it. That those are just really good books. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly, they are the two books that are the most complete and were written as books, whereas the this one and the most recent one are collections of, of some diverse works. It's called Inside Moves. Punctual matters, and it has an epigraph from um, Gwendolyn Brooks's *The Second Sermon on the Warpland*, which says, "Sal salvage in the spin, endorse the splendor splashes, stylize the flawed utility, prop a malign or failing light, but no, the whirlwind is our comrade." great injustice, I think, was done to Gwendolyn Brooks by the always anthologized poem, We Real Cool, which is a real cool poem, but there is a world in the work if you read through a lot of it, particularly, I think, the work done um, in the 1960s in the midst of civil rights movements and advanced changes. Attraction sits on a pinhead. Love rests on finer points. We locate near fault lines or hairpin curves. Rest easy, everything snaps into place. Attend to sense of mending. Missile silos revise architects' paradigms. Refrain from smoking, please. Children have been abandoned. Spend wisely, hours slip away. Anatomically, choose an erotics of search. Neighborhoods criticize traffic plans. Her movement toward him confirmed a new definition of articulate. Hold on, I'm coming. Across the street, a school waited for students. She changed her mind in the midst of a blue jacket. Address voluptuous matters, signs of educated hunger. Forget nothing, the tide is in. Adjust the loom, begin the weaving. Cast forth nets of words, see what catches, what craves, what waters move above ground. Wait, restless, time is a made thing. Compare a social bond to text. Sing in rapture, church hearts drawn taut. I remember Sunday mornings before service, closed in choir robe closets. Do not threaten rupture. Seals break. Crayola rules a fractured commerce. Stun a world with traced magenta. Imagine, she thought, this sex dream dispersed in a morning's coffee. New skin tightens. Fear inherits thinking. Cartoons deliver political blows. Steering mechanisms give way to free fall. We bump over curves into spare deserts, parts scattered to all corners. Remember the underground, not lost. Crescendos are learned. In a yard of weeds lend water. Dry goods beckon signs of change. Market economies refer to nothing. Manipulate the stock. Love disorders. 
What does a person invest here? The voice, perhaps, and where? Turn that talent to use. Words lead to language. Counter every move we provide. Televised masquerades, salesmanship as communication. What does one invest in mass? Turn twice around, dial a code. The counters mount horses of oppression. Thought control hides as recreation. These solutions are easy. In a time when nothing settles, everything vibrates openly. Stand aside. The games begin. There's about 40 more pages in that, but I'm kind of selecting from this, and, and the pages are not very much, not very much on pages, but uh, there's a lot of this book that's a, that's kind of a invention of forms, uh, you know, not received forms, but invention of forms, and they're trying to see what can happen in that.